whenever you get home, what eh, kasi ang tinatry natin dito is ma-decrease yung bacteria. Whenever you get home, um ay 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 na na and welcome back to my channel. Again, this is Fatima Lou, your nurse rapper. So for everybody who does not know me yet, they call me in the Philippines as the nurse rapper because I sing and I rap to my patients to make them feel happy and eventually I went viral online and my life was portrayed on um, Maalaala Mo Kaya by Maxine Magalona. Alright, before we start this video, please click the subscribe button and also hit this button. And hit that notification bell so you can get notified of any videos that I'll be posting real soon. Tinatanong nyo ko why I actually made this video because first of all, as we all know, COVID-19 has been a widespread virus, not just in Asia, pero sa Europe din. So, ang problema right now is a lot of people have been panicking. So, para nakaka-stress masyado yung mundo. Kasi yung mga tao, they're thinking so much about the problem. But nobody's actually thinking about any solution on how we can actually help each other out in, you know, fighting this off. Some of the pieces of advice that I'll be giving is actually coming from my experience as a nurse for seven years. So yon, if you want to know more on how you can actually avoid COVID-19 and prevent yourself from getting infected, please continue watching and like this video. Alright, so tip number one. This is a tip that I've learned um, as a nurse for seven years. The first ever tip is cut your nails. If you cut your nails, it could save you from actually um, having bacteria in your body. So, bakit ba? Kasi, itong fingertips nyo at saka itong fingernails nyo, pag mahaba yung kuko nyan, may space yan in between. Doon sa space na yon, kapag nakakuha kayo ng dumi or bacteria, dumidikit siya doon, nagsistay siya in between there. Kasi yung space na yon, in between your fingernails and your fingertips, is actually an ideal space for bacteria to grow kasi moist yung loob niyan. So, if you have long nails, there's like a huge chance for you to actually get these bacteria right away. But shorter nails, less bacteria yung matatrap sa hands nyo and you can actually clean it well. But basically, that's tip number one for you. Cut your nails. Ta -da! This is tip number two room air. So, ano ba yung room air? So, guys, this is something I learned also in the hospital throughout time. Every time we actually do rounds with our patients, we open the windows for a good 15 to 20 minutes. The reason for that is because if you open your windows at a certain time, pinapa, hinahayaan mo na yung room matuyo siya. At saka lumalabas yung mga bacteria, yung mga dumi niya, yung amoy niya lumalabas. Tapos, hindi nagiging moist yung place. Especially if naka-aircon kayo, na nagkakaroon ng moisture yung room. So, it dampens the entire room. And when something is damp, pag may bacteria kayong daladala, mas madali siyang dumikit doon. So, my first advice is every day, please try to consider opening your windows every time. Lalo na every morning, kahit mga 15 to 20 minutes lang, para lahat ng bacteria, lahat ng alikabok, lumabas sila. And also, at the same time, matuyo yung room. Matutuyo po siya. So, everything's gonna be dry para rin ma-allow din na magkaroon ng heat sa loob ng room. So, you can see in the video um, what I do in the morning. So, ayan siya. Binubuksan ko siya. Because that's one of the ways where we can actually allow the bacteria to exit out of our window. So, yeah, that's tip number two for you. This is tip number three that most people actually overlook. So, ngayong may COVID-19, I'm sure everybody's gonna try to isolate themselves and also lock their doors, close their windows, and just turn on the AC whole day. Guys, i just like you to know that it's okay to do that, but then, you know, connecting it to room air earlier, kailangan pahingahin nyo pa rin yung kwarto from time to time. But the reason why I'm emphasizing this clean your aircon, which is tip number three. Importante to kasi yung aircon nyo, yan yung pwedeng maging isa sa mga reasons dumikit yung bacteria. I know COVID-19 is not airborne, but it is through droplets. At ang droplets po, pwede siyang dumikit sa aircon. And apart from that, yung aircon nyo, pag madumi siya, nakakakos yun ng sipon, nakakakos yun ng ubo, allergies, you know, and these allergies, they can weaken your immune system. So, kahit hindi ka weak, paglabas mo, nagiging weak 
ka kahit wala ka pang bacteria. So, dapat linisin nyo yan. Kasi ang aircon, guys, ang hangin yan, recycled. So, hanggat hindi kayo nakakakuha ng fresh air from the outside going in, yun at yun din yung hangin na papasok sa inyo. So, that's tip number three for you, which is cleaning your aircon. Alright, so tip number four, guys. Number four is use an antimicrobial gargle. So, I'm gonna be specific here. Kung pwede nyo gamitin yung Bactitol, sobrang very good ni Bactitol um, sa sore throat. And as we all know, yan ang isa sa mga symptomas ng COVID-19, sore throat. So guys, um, usually, um, antimicrobial gargles such as Bactidol is actually advised pagka-onset pa lang, meaning pagka-start pa lang nung sore throat nyo, gamitin nyo na to. Kasi ito yung kinoconsider na isa sa mga first aids para ma-avoid yung pagkalat ng virus sa ating throat. Bactidol is marked as one of those um, antimicrobial gargles na use siya para ma-prevent pa yung cold na mag-spread through. So that's tip number four for you. Alright, so which brings me to tip number five. <laughs> okay, so this tip number five is always stay hydrated. Kasi when you drink 6 to 8 glasses of water, naka-hydrate yung body nyo. Water actually strengthens the immune system. So, paano ba? So, ang water, ang fluid na nagkikerry sa immune cells natin, siya yung nagdadala para targetin yung mga infection. And also, at the same time, it keeps the cell hydrated. Pangalawa, water actually lowers fever. So, paano nyo nalulower yung fever? Ang tubig po, nare-regulate niya ang temperature ng katawan natin. So, kapag regulated siya, hindi siya tataas. Kapag dehydrated ang isang tao, mas mataas po yung chance na magkaroon siya ng fever. Ayun. So, that's tip number 5 for you. Water. So, guys, um, another tip is tip number 6. Of course, avoid going to crowded places. We we're supposed to have a trip for this week. We're going to Japan, pero we chose to cancel our flight. Kasi una sa lahat, alam natin na meron din COVID cases sa Japan. But I was also thinking na ang crowded area pa lang is pagdating yung agad sa airport. So imagine how many people have traveled already to different places. By the time you get there, hindi mo alam ko anong klaseng transmission yung meron na sa'yo. And if we try to go and expose ourselves into places, where there's like a lot of bacteria, hindi tayo makakatulong dun. Ano ba naman yung magstay ka muna sa bahay, pahinga ka, alam mo yun. Um, if the trip is not necessary, um, kung magbabakasyon ka lang naman or anything like that, please try to avoid going to these crowded places. And not just airports, but also like um, markets. Uh, actually, hindi mo rin ma-avoid yung market kasi you have to buy something. But when you go to these places, um, kung hindi mo talaga maiwasan, this will lead you to my tip number 7. So, tip number 7, always take with you disinfectants. Ang pinaka-importante na meron kayo dapat lagi is an alcohol, antibacterial wipes. Yan ang pinaka-importante. Kasi nga, this is droplet infection. So, mas malaki yung chance that if you're touching something, mas madali matransmit sa katawan mo. So, yun. And also, don't forget your mask every time. Kasi, hindi mo naman masasabi na may makakatabi ka kabigla na umuubo. Alam mo yun. Especially if nasa MRT ka, MRT, yan, MRT, napaka dali po ng transmission dyan. So, yeah. Siyempre, every day we have to commute, eh. So, the only way we can protect ourselves is if we wear proper gears, like the uh, N95 mask. Tapos magkaroon kayo ng um, alcohol with you every time. Antibacterial wipes. And I'll show you that, that kit that I have right here. ta -da! Yan po ay pinamigay ko ng Valentine. So, um, just click on the link below so you can see yung laman niya and why I chose these things, okay? To fight off COVID-19. Alright, so guys, which leads me to tip number 8. So guys, ang ina-advise atin ngayon is syempre, wag muna lumabas. At pag hindi ka lumabas, anong gagawin mo sa bahay? If there's one thing that you should consider doing is ang matulog. Sleep is the most important thing that you can do when you're inside the house. You know why? Because when we get good sleep, ang body natin nagre-repair siya by 50%. Nagre-repair yung immune system by 50% when we're asleep. And when we get that maximum sleep, mas malaki yung repair na nagagawa niya sa immune system natin. So, tinatanong niyo ako, guys, paano yung mga hindi makatulog or alam mo yung hirap matulog? This is one of the ways on how you can actually achieve good sleep is using Promac 300. As you all know, um, I've been a fan of this product, to be honest. Kasi kahit ako, 
nung nahirapan ako matulog, I just soaked my feet in magnesium and then na-relax yung katawan ko. It made me sleep. So dun guys sa mga insomnia people, sa mga taong hindi makatulog and has problems of sleeping, I think you should try consider try to consider Promac 300 to be a part of your routine lalong lalo na pag may COVID kasi yung sleep nyo pag naiayos nyo yun tataas yung immune system nyo and if you have troubles in sleeping magnesium helps in relaxing the body and when the body is relaxed it promotes sleep so kapag nakatulog kayo na maayos yung immune system nyo gaganda yeah I just strongly and highly suggest that sa ganitong panahon, kapag sinabi na mag-stay kayo sa bahay nyo, mag-stay lang kayo, magpahinga kayo, mag-recharge kayo. So, which leads me to tip number 9. So, this is the common tip, ang sinasabi nga, hand washing. So, ngayon ko siya na-appreciate lalo, because every time that we do something, we have to sterilize or we have to wash our hands. Kasi sa medical profession, ito yung pinaka-considered na safety protocol sa lahat, hand washing. So, you already know that you have to do happy birthday for 20 seconds, right? If kaya nyo mag-scrub ng kamay, yung pang-scrub nyo talaga, bilhin kayo ng kahit anong scrub. Pero huwag yung scrub sa pang laba kasi masakit sa kamay yun. After hand washing, ang gagamitin nyo first of all pala is hand wash na may 99.9% protection. So, nakakainis yung 0.9 but yeah, use something that has antibacterial effects. Then, afterwards, don't forget to apply alcohol. So, which boils down to my last tip. Tip number 10. Okay, so this is tip number 10 for you. The last tip I have is of course to pray. Guys, um, these are situations na ako naniniwala ako, hindi nilagay ng Panginoon para pahirapan tayo. You know, there's something that we can learn from this afterwards. And we just have to keep the faith that eventually everything will actually clear off. In God's time, of course. Naniniwala ako na may rason bakit kailangan mangyari to. And we just have to keep our faith. So, I'm also suggesting everyone that you please include uh, on your prayers yung mga doctors po natin, mga nurse natin, na palakasin po ng Panginoon yung mga pangangatawan nila para po matulungan po na gumaling yung mga may sakit po. Lalo na yung yung part po ng COVID, yung mga nagkaroon po ng COVID. Alright, so guys, that leaves you to my 10 tips for increasing your protection from COVID-19. So again, this is your nurse rapper, Fatima Lou. Again, peace, love, and healing be with you all. Bye!